Let's, uh, let, let me tell you about some, uh, some uh, I'll tell you the satellite information first. And then we'll go to the laundromat where I understand nothing is going on. And that's how we're going to spend our evening tonight, looking at a laundromat. Uh, the satellite that we're using tonight is uh, currently orbiting over Ecuador. Uh, the cost to us about uh, $14,000. That includes the manpower. Now here, well, I have a little diagram. This came to us from the engineering department here at uh, NBC. This, uh, there it is. Oh, you got it there? <laughs> Let's see if we can follow that. Uh, our location, the laundromat, is at Columbus and 86th on the Upper West Side. There where the, where the little truck is. That's about a mile. Now listen to this. It's a mile. It's only a mile from the building. But yet we have to use the satellite orbiting over uh, Ecuador. Um, <laughs> the signal is then fed to the GE SATCOM K1 satellite. And we're using transponder number nine tonight. An excellent transponder, by the way. Uh, it then goes up, uh, well, there it is, floating over the Ecuador. Now it comes down uh, someplace in uh, Smithtown, Long Island, uh, to an HBO something out there. I don't know why it goes out there. And then it comes back into the city and uh, uh, right in here to the RCA building. All of that, uh, it covers about 47,000 miles, so we can take a look at this. Let's see it, Hal. What does it look like? There it is. That's that's what it's shooting. Now that's exciting. That's going right up into space there. Twenty-three thousand miles. Right there it is. Oh my God! It's falling out of orbit. That's just a smudge on the screen. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right, Paul. It is just a smudge. smudge. There it is. It's the laundromat. Nineteen pounds, giant wash. Let's go inside and see what's going on. This is uh, Jacob's Laundromat, uh, located at uh, 526 Columbus Avenue between 85th and 86th Street. Well, how about a little laundromat music, if you don't mind? Uh, the Shim family owns this laundromat. Uh, there are 26 washing machines in here. Paul, how much do you think it costs to do a load of wash in this place? Take a guess. It would be uh, 75 cents. 75 cents. It's $1.75 oh, per wash. Yeah. yeah. Quarters only. Uh, there are 14 dryers, uh, 25 cents for a seven and a half minute dry job. One, we understand one was out of order this morning. How do you do, ma'am? Hello. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Are you washing or drying? Uh, we're washing. Uh-huh. Do you come here often? Yeah, we live up the street. I see. Is this your one and only load of wash today? Three. One of three? One, uh, one two, there's three going right now. So you're doing three, you're doing three loads simultaneously? Yeah, all at once. Yeah. Did, uh, did you have to do any pre-soaking? I think it's built in the washer. I'm not sure. It's really? Like There's automatic. a pre-soak, uh, automatic pre-soak dispenser in those machines? I, I think so. Yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, what, I, I tell you what, I'll give you, I'll pay for your wash if you try and oversuds one of the machines. If you try and what? Just try load, what? toss in an entire box of detergent. <laughs> Pick one. Yeah, there you go. Oh my God. Okay. Well, let's just see what happens here. All right, that's great now. We'll just keep, what, what cycle are you in there, ma'am? Uh, we're probably, I think we're on spin dry. <laughs> I tell you what, you better, so can you start the whole thing over? Because uh, uh, your clothing is going to be like you've can been at the, the beach thing? all day if you, oh, <laughs> well, there's, that's probably, uh, it's probably, is it, excuse me, sir, what is your name? Something's wrong, uh -oh. Gucci. Oh, they're getting bounced. Pardon me, sir. Uh, sir, are you the, are you the, oblivious to this nonsense, and well, they should be. <laughs> oh, God. Well, in order to get suds, we need some water in there. Can, can we start the start it again? Yeah, start it again, and we'll get back to you. Thank you very much. They're going to start it again, and we'll get back to them. Well, people, people will do anything for free wash, won't they? Uh, let's see. Um, there are three to five extractor machines, Paul. Do you know what an extractor is? Well, that's what you... Uh used to extract the dirt from the <laughs> actual clothing. That's right. It's like taking your clothing down to the river and beating it on rocks. That's 
what it no, is. No, it's uh, right there. It's this super high-speed laser-powered thing that uh, it so uh, cuts down on your drying uses time. Uses the centrifugal force to exactly extract the water from the center done, of Very the good. laundry itself. Uh, they have two ladies there who do bundle service. That's uh, 375 per eight pounds of laundry. Uh, the washing machines, international duplex front loading washer machines. The dryers are Hubes, H-U-E-B-S-C-H, originators, Lodestar two dryers. The same people who made the satellite, as it turns out. <laughs> All right, have they got water down there, world? How do you do, sir? Why are you doing, sir? What happens to the other sock, Dave? Oh, fine. I'd like to write, dear Dave, where'd he go? It's Young Comedian's Night in the laundromat. <laughs> okay. How do you do, sir? What is your name? Hi. Jay Shim. Oh, you're Mr. Shim? Yes, sir. You're the, you're the owner of the laundromat. Yeah, sort of, unfortunately. What? <laughs> you, you don't like owning the laundromat? Well, it's kind of very tough. You know, people here, very tough. Oh, look, look, we didn't come here well, to hear you whine and complain. Because, uh... Wait. You know... Let me, let me tell you something, pal. Running a talk show is no vacation either, okay? All right. It's very hot here now. Thank you very much for your hospitality. You know, you, you have some women down there damaging the equipment. How's it going, ladies? I don't think it's doing too well. Well, get some water in there. I think we, have, we have to wait until it stops, so we start it over again. Okay, well, how much longer will that be? Uh, minutes, I think. I don't know. All right, know. well, we'll be here. We have nothing to do. So, so the second this thing starts to fill up with suds, let us know and we'll get right back to you. Okay, sure. Okay, what is your name, by the way? Mary Pat. Nice to see you, Mary, and what's your friend's name? Janice. Janice? Mary Pat and Janice, okay, thank you, ladies. All right, we'll uh, go back to the laundromat a little later when they get ready to blow that thing sky high. Yeah! Nice going. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty nice. Nice going, ladies. Very good job. So this this is just going to blow that thing right off of there, right? Yeah, yeah and the ceiling will collapse. And we'll have to go in there with emergency crew and dig these people out of soap suds. Uh, all right, if anything else happens like that, let us know. If it gets worse, we'll be right back there uh, with you. That's uh, Janice and Mary Pat there at the laundromat. Doing a fine job. Uh, after more than a year on Broadway, our first guest is still playing to sold-out houses with... Oh, wow! Oh, now, now I understand. <laughs> now I, uh, kind of, kind of understand what he was talking about earlier when he... Complaining about the gig there at the laundromat. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm sorry. 1962. Yeah, 1962. Ah. I'm sorry, Paul. <laughs> Let's go back to the laundromat and see what's going on there. Briefly, quickly. Let's do something. Anything. There it is, the laundromat, 86th and uh, Columbus, the Upper West Side. Oh. <laughs> Girls are enjoying a butt while they're waiting for their clothing. To... What? What? Uh, what happened to this? Are you the the ladies who put all of the stuff in there? Yeah, yeah, that was oh, us. You're, uh, you're uh, uh, Mary Pat and uh, Janice? Yeah. Yeah, what happened? Oh. You always knew clothes, Dave. <laughs> Did it ruin your clothing? No, no, no we're just kidding. All right, so we'll take care of it. Was, was the guy hot, the manager, Mr. Shim? I seem pretty nice about it. He stuck the hose in there, swished it around. Yeah. I think it's... So what's, what's the status of your laundry right now? Well, we have some in the dryer, and the white stuff is still washing. Uh-huh. <laughs> any, uh, any interesting stains you can tell us about in, in anything you've done today? Any kind oh, of yeah. food stains, right. blood stains, uh, uh, gunpowder? You know, we decided to wash the pot holder. It was getting a little grungy. Yeah. yeah. So little, it came little clean. Greasy, it's little clean oily. Now. Do what? Hello? Hello. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> all right, ladies. Nice chatting with you. We'll move on now. And if there's anything else we can do, uh, by all means, keep it to yourself. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. That's good. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. Some more folks in the, the very destructive child. She, somebody should that ch that kid should be taught some manners. Where is her mother? There. Hello, ma'am. How are you? Fine. Fine. Thank you very much. 
Oh, bless her little heart. Paul, do we have music for this, perhaps? <laughs> Well, that's good. Single-handedly, in one evening, I've, I've ruined a machine and made a little girl cry. I... That, that's nothing I'm proud of. I'm terribly sorry. H honey, are you all right? The child has been emotionally traumatized for life. She will not get over this, and I'm responsible. Uh, okay, while we're uh, waiting for uh, whatever the hell we're waiting for, let's uh, bring out the guy who's making me a suit.